Hey everyone, it's Rich Chan, like, like Stackles here. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the first in real, uh, in real, or um, I guess um, it might be known, but it's going to be for the first in real or legend uh, ghost story. <laughs> part of a new series so it's called the green Bri green briar ghost um a little info here green Bri green briar is a true ghost story about a young woman who was murdered in 1897 in green briar green briar country west virginia sorry for my bad pronunciations they say her ghost returned from the grave to name her killer this story is also known as the green Bri green briar ghost so um we're gonna get started on this on this uh real ghost story legend greenbrier ghost there was a young woman named elva zone shoe who lived in greenbrier county in west virginia she was married to a man named edward who worked as a blacksmith they seemed very happy together, but Zona's mother never liked Edward Chu and warned her daughter not to trust him. One day, after they had been married only three months, Edward sent a young African-American boy named Andy Jones to his house on an errand. He was supposed to ask Zona if there was anything she needed from the store. The boy found Zona's body lying on the floor at the bottom of the stairs. Her eyes were wide open and staring right at her. She was dead. The boy ran home to tell his mother, and she raised the alarm. Edward went home, carried his, carried his wife's body up to the bedroom, and dressed her in the Sunday, in her Sunday best. When the cor coroner arrived, an hour later, he found the dead woman wearing a stiff collar dress that covered her neck, and she uh, she had a veil over her face. Edward was cradling his wife's head and sobbing hysterically. When the coroner tried to take a closer look, Edward reacted so violently that the coroner gave up and left. He listed the cause of death as being due to childbirth. The strangest thing about it was that Zona had not even been pregnant. When Zona, when Zona's mother found out her daughter was dead, she shouted, the devil has killed her. During the funeral, Zona's mother took a sheet from inside the coffin and brought it home. When she washed it in a basin, the water turned as red as blood. The old woman believed that was a sign that Zona had been murdered. Every night for the next four, weeks. Zona's mother prayed that the truth about her daughter's death would be revealed. She didn't have long to wait. One night, the ghost of Zona appeared to her mother and told her exactly how she had died. She said Edward was cruel and abusive to her. One day, he went too far. She told him she had no meat for dinner and ever flew into a rage. He attacked his wife and broke her neck. When she said this, the ghost slowly turned her head completely around at the neck. The next morning, Zona's mother went to the police and told them what she had seen. Although they were skeptical, they dug up Zona's body again and performed a proper autopsy. When he heard the news, Edward began to get nervous and stressed out. He wandered around the town saying they will not be able to prove I did it. The autopsy that Zona's neck had been broken and she had been strangled to death. On her, on her throat were the marks of fingers. Edward Shu was arrested and charged with murder. When the police investigated the back, when they found some suspicious facts, Edward had a violent temper. He had beaten his wife, his, he had beaten his first wife severely and thrown her out of the house. His second wife had died mysteriously uh, of a blow to the head. As he sat in the jail cell, Edward was sure he would not be convicted of Zona's murder. He told everyone who would listen that there was no evidence against him. During the trial, Zona's mother was called to testify on the stand. She told the jury how Zona's ghost had appeared to her and revealed the name of the murderer. No way knows if the jury took her story seriously, but when, but they did come back with a guilty verdict and Edward was sentenced to life in prison. 
He died a few years, few, he died a few years later in Moundsville Penitentiary. Today, there was a sign on highway near Greenbrier. It reads, Greenbrier Ghost. Entered in near, entered in near, uh, a nearby cemetery in Zona Hester Shoe. Her death in 1897 was presumed natural until her spirit appeared to her mother to describe how she was killed by her husband, Edward. Autopsy on the exhumed body verified the apparition's account. Edward, found guilty of murder, was sentenced to the state prison. Only known cause which testimony, from te- only known cause which testimony from ghost helped convict a murder. So that was the Greenbrier ghost, uh, guys and gals. Um, so, uh, I got. I got it from uh, this site, scaryforkids.com slash greenbrier. The link will be down below in the info for the, in, uh, for the real ghost story uh, myth. Uh, this was interesting to me. Um, I'm not a skeptic, but I'm sure some of you are out there. And it's okay to have different opinions. It's okay um, to have different uh, views on the supernatural. Uh, so yeah, this was Greenbrier Ghost. Uh, supposedly the unreal ghost story legend. So this is part of the new series um, I'm doing. So I hope you guys and gals liked the Greenbrier Ghost story. And if, if you like what you saw, uh, please comment on what you think. And if you like the video, like it. Um, so yeah, this is the Greenbrier Ghost. Hope you enjoyed, and and see you next time.